Hello and welcome to 0 to 30. Today, we are all about the Monaco GP. Let's get started. Number 10. After crashing out of his first two races on home soil, Charles Leclerc endured more misery in his hometown on Sunday, with mechanical issues preventing him from even taking the start of the Monaco Grand Prix. Asked how he was feeling in the immediate aftermath, Leclerc said, Sad. Just very sad. It's a very difficult one to take and I also feel sad for the team because they've been checking everything. Ninth, Valtteri Bottas said, Mercedes have to learn from the pit stop disaster that robbed him of a podium and possibly a shot at victory. Number eight, Antonio Giovinazzi gave the Swiss team something to smile about in qualifying for the Monaco GP, claiming their first Q3 appearance of the season as he ended up P10 on the grid. I'm really happy about our first Q3 of the season, said Giovinazzi. Number 7. Life at Aston Martin has been difficult for Sebastian Vettel, having joined from Ferrari ahead of the season. But the four-time world champion turned his fortunes around in Monaco, with fifth in the Monaco GP to score his first points of the season. Number 6. Gasly, after finishing up sixth in the Monaco GP, said he and Sebastian Vettel could have very well ended in the harbour during their very close battle for fifth place at Formula 1's Monaco GP. We literally came out side by side and he managed to get on top of us. Number 5. Daniel Ricciardo, aka Honey Badger, was almost left speechless after the Monaco GP as his career hit a new low. Daniel said, I will definitely look into it, but I think when it is a weekend like this and as far off as it was, probably just to step away for a few days. Number 4. A disgruntled Lewis Hamilton, who was left fuming at the end of a disappointing Monaco GP performance for both him and Mercedes, calling the team's performance really, really poor, as title rival Max Verstappen won the race and stole the championship lead, saying that they'd be looking into problems ahead of the next GP in Baku. Number 3. Lando Norris resisted intense pressure from Red Bull's Sergio Perez in his final laps of the Monaco GP to claim his second podium in five races this season. It's been a pretty crazy weekend, said Norris. The car's been pretty good to drive. I've had a lot of confidence, felt very comfortable and I think that showed yesterday with probably an alright outright package not being quite there yet compared to Red Bull and Ferrari. Number 2. Carlos Sainz took his first Monaco podium and his first podium in the red of Ferrari in a tense race on Sunday. But the Ferrari driver said he had mixed feelings about finishing runner-up to Max Verstappen given the race-winning pace he had shown all weekend. And number 1. Red Bull's Max Verstappen breezed to his maiden Monaco GP win over the Ferrari of Carlos Verstappen also claiming the lead of the Drivers' Championship for the first time in his career after Lewis Hamilton finished a disappointing P7. Don't forget to subscribe 0-30. to